If you are looking for some really easy shortcuts to making holiday appetizers and sweet treats, that's what this video is for. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm gonna to share with you several different recipes. Some of them are completely homemade. Others are taking some pre-made things and turning them into homemade. To get started, I'm gonna be making some cookies so they have time to cool so that we can frost them and put sprinkles on them and all the fun things. But the great thing is the cookies are already made for me. We are going to make some wreaths out of sugar cookie dough. It's very simple, but it's gonna look pretty homemade. I'm just gonna follow the directions on this and bake them as normal. However, cut them to about a half inch and we are going to set these to the side for just a second and we're gonna cut holes in the middle of them. He's over there eyeing me like, what are you doing? Semi-homemade cookies, you ready for it? Semi-homemade. Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Ask the neighbors to make some and then you made some? How does that work? <laughs> Not really. You'll see. <laughs> what is that? Sugar cookie dough. Oh, okay. So I'm going to flatten out one. And right here in the middle, we are going to cut a hole. Spread it out just a little bit. I'm using just this small, what is this? It's, like a, it's a teeny tiny ladle is what it looks like. Teeny tiny ladle. <laughs> What that is. I'm just taking that and kind of pressing it in the middle. You're a very industrious person there. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah. And then just kind of create the hole right there in the middle. Very easy. Where's my... Here it is. See, I'll be done messed it up. I mean, it ain't, it ain't the prettiest, but it's going to be covered in frosting a little bit later, so it really doesn't matter. Positive mental attitude on that. Okay, we're going to go with it. So, I'll be back once I get all of these done. They are not as pretty as I was hoping they would be. But I think once they bake and then we frost them and do all the things, it's really not going to matter. So these are going in the oven at 350 for 11 to 14 minutes. Oh, look, you've been primping for five minutes. <laughs> you told on me. Okay. <laughs> he ain't wrong. Stop. <laughs> so you guys seem to be enjoying when we read some of your comments. I chose just a couple of comments from last Friday's video. So last Friday's video, we made three recipes and in the middle of all of it, there was a stink bug fiasco. If you missed that, you need to go back and watch it because you're missing out. All right, Mary said, after reading all the comments, it looks like Herb, the stink bug, stole most of this episode. <laughs> I live in South Alabama where we have stink bugs too. When I smacked my first one many moons ago, I knew immediately why they got their name. Phew. That's Is good. that pew or phew? <laughs> <laughs> Love your, yeah, I've never read this, first time reading it. It's better if I just read it for the first time live, that way y'all can laugh at me. Love your antique. Uh, the antique. The, um, yeah, yeah, fits uh -huh. the corner perfectly. It does. Appreciate Thank you, that. Mary. It was Mary, yeah, right? Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yes, stink bugs. You you want to try? It? That's how you say it. <laughs> you want to try and not squish them if possible. They have. There's a reason they're called stink bugs. Okay. While those are baking, I'm going to make another sweet treat. However, again, I'm not really making anything. I'm just making something store bought, more festive. So it looks like you put a lot of time in, but you really didn't have to. I don't know about y'all, but I love these cookies. And today we are just going to dip part of these cookies into some candy coating that I'm going to melt in the microwave. I'm also going to add some food coloring to that candy coating. It's going to be good. So I just got this vanilla flavored candy coating at the grocery store. It's the microwavable tray kind. So I'm just going to follow the directions on the back of this and go ahead and melt this. Okay, so this is melted completely. You could just leave it like this, but I'm going to add some green food coloring to mine. I've already got it all over my fingers because that's what we do, right? That's why I've got this uh, paper towel under here. I don't want to get it everywhere, but chances are. Okay, well, I want to open. There we go. All right, I'm just added like three or four drops. Let's stir that in. Okay, that's a little too soft of a green for me. This is personal preference, of course. I'm just gonna add just a little more, maybe two more drops. That seems like a pretty good color. Now that it's all mixed together, we're just going to dip our cookies in, but I'm not gonna dip them all the way. My cookies are ready. <laughs> put them over here on this wax paper to let them kind of set up. This time I just did it kind of on the front and not on the back as much because it won't stick to the paper as badly. 
Okay, let me go grab those cookies out of the oven. Okay, the cookies are out of the oven. I haven't showed them to you yet. I will in just a minute. We're letting them kind of cool over there, but I need to work on this before everything kind of hardens back up. Let me get these all dipped in here and I'll see you back in just a second. Now I'm just gonna add some sprinkles. I don't understand how these are supposed to come out. Do you see that? I feel like the sprinkles are larger than those holes. Yeah, I've, I got one. Does this whole top come off? Okay, the whole top doesn't come off completely, but you can do this. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna go in with my sprinkles and just add those to my candy. There's like cookies in here. Don't come in here. Surprise? Nope, just don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll see why I told him not to come in here in just a second. Festive cookies that took me about five minutes to make. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And those are gonna be cute on a tray served at a party or a get together. Now I'm gonna let you take a guess as to what happened to my cookies. I had a feeling it was gonna happen, but I was really hoping it wouldn't. The middle kind of closed up. This is why I didn't want Steven coming in here because I know he's gonna laugh at me. You ready? Let's do it. Y'all, look at these pitiful little cookies. Now some of them completely closed in. I got them all off. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit. It's not gonna take long because they're pretty thin. One of course had to be kind of sacrificed as the first one. So it volunteered as tribute. I'm just gonna eat it. It's it's okay. It's it's falling apart. But let's see if we can salvage these. Do you think we can do it? So this is tricky. I don't recommend this. I highly recommend that you bake these at the normal thickness, and I think this would be a lot easier. This may be a fail. These are crunchy cookies. I'm not a huge crunky crunk, crunky crunky cookie crunchy cookie fan. I made these a little too thin, but it's working. So let's chat about it. If you're new here, I am not a baker. I do not pretend to be. This is why I was trying to go the easy route and you see that obviously my skills don't even don't even equate to doing pre-made sugar cookies very well. I think the idea is great, but those of you who are bakers who could give us some pointers on maybe how to do this better, feel free. Leave in the comments below. I would appreciate it and I'm sure others would too because I think the outcome is gonna be really cute, and I think they're gonna taste just fine. They're not what I was hoping for, and that's okay. It's all part of learning in the kitchen. Most of the time when I'm in here cooking with y'all, that's what I'm doing. I'm learning as I go. I ain't trying to fool you. I ain't trying to act like I have it all together because I don't. Let's frost these bad boys. So I've got a tub of vanilla frosting. You could just do white frosting if you wanted to. You know what? Hang on, get my little spreader tool here. I don't need a ton of frosting on here. I'm just wanting something for the sprinkles to adhere to. That is as good as she gets. Now you could definitely uh, tint this frosting if you wanted to as well, but I'm just going with the sprinkles this time instead of uh, coloring my frosting. But I'm just gonna go through and do this. This would be a great project for little ones if they want to help in the kitchen. You could do the frosting because you don't want them to press too hard on the frosting and break the cookie but then let them put the sprinkles all over the top. That would be fun. So you know what? I'm pretty impressed. I pushed through adversity and we made them. They may not be the prettiest ever, but you know what? They're festive, they're fun, and they're semi-homemade, right? I didn't finish these because I was starting to run out of my green sprinkles. So I'm probably gonna finish those with just regular colored sprinkles. It doesn't matter. They're not gonna be as festive, but so just make sure you have plenty of sprinkles on hand if you are doing both of these either of these really but I think these are perfect too and these were super easy these I'm gonna be looking in the comments for some suggestions of how to better do those okay I'm gonna have Steven come in here and see what he thinks of my festive cookies I never did let him in here to see the hot mess Express earlier so we'll, we'll explain that to him yeah come on in he's like inching in here <laughs> Look at that tray of cookies. That looks delicious. I haven't seen a tray of cookies like that in a long time. Can I have one? Yeah, go ahead. My rear reaching. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I need to take a picture first. Oh, yeah. Okay, hang on. I'll be back. <laughs> nah, better not. What are you doing in there? Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, let me take a picture. <laughs> yum, yum, yummy, yum, yum, yummy. Okay. All, right, All right, so I didn't let you in here earlier. You remember me telling you not to come in here? Yes, I remember. What did you do? <laughs> what did you put cream cheese in? No, I didn't put it. Okay. <laughs> These completely closed up. Like they were just oh. blobs. 
<laughs> blobs. They were blobs. So I knew so you were gonna you come do? in here. What you do? Eat a hole in it? Yeah. I knew you were gonna come in here and make fun of me. Look, there's a little hole right there. <laughs> <laughs> the cookie hole. I have a handful of cookie holes over here. Okay, you ready? Right. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna mm. we're gonna drop sprinkles all mm. over the place. It's happening. Oh yeah. Good and messy. Okay. Cheers. Oh. oh. <laughs> Mmm. So good. I like the candy coating on this. Mm-hmm. I love the holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. I love the sugar cookie. Mm-hmm. With the icing. Mm-hmm. There's sprinkles all over my floor. Mm. It's part of baking, right? Making a mess. We have a festive floor in the I'll kitchen. Try one of these things. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Some kind of wafer with something. Mmm. Mm. I didn't make those. Oh, what did you buy? I bought the cookies, but then I dipped them into oh. candy melt and put sprinkles on them. Pretty smart, yeah. huh? That is pretty smart. Got some chocolate in there. Mm -hmm. You got some in your beard. <laughs> Stop. What are you doing? <laughs> Anytime I try to fix something on him, he always like acts like he's going to bite me. You can't fix, stupid. <laughs> No, you can't. I've tried okay. for 22 years. We just can't. Oh, man. Well, I've sufficiently made a huge mess in the kitchen. Mm. I'm going to clean that up. He's happy. Can we have this for dinner all the time? Yeah. <laughs> it's dinner time, y'all. This is our dinner. Okay, for our next recipe, one of my favorite things to have and to kind of snack on at Christmas gatherings are toasted nuts of some sort. So today I'm gonna to be doing pecans. You could do walnuts, but we're gonna do a cinnamon sugar toasted nut. It's gonna be so good. It's very easy. You just have to pop them in the oven for a little bit. Can I help you? Ah. Honey, I have nothing for you. Ah. No, nothing for you. Ah. What do you think is up here? Ah. No, you're sadly mistaken. Ah. Yeah. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 300. I forgot to do that. Let me run and do that. Okay, we're back. I need an egg white. I need a tablespoon of water and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's whisk that together with a fork. Now we're gonna add our pecans in. I've got this large container. You can do as much as you want. Okay, we're just gonna pour these in and toss them around and get them coated in this egg white mixture. Now at this point, you can make your own cinnamon sugar. I already have some pre-made from Mr. Sticks, so I'm just gonna use that. But we're also gonna add some nutmeg to it as well. We don't need a lot of nutmeg. I'm just gonna go kind of light-handed on that. Let's mix all of that together. And let's just sprinkle this over the top. It's just that easy, y'all. These are just gonna go on a baking sheet. I'm gonna grease it first. And they're gonna go in at 300 for about 40 minutes. And you know what, just for good measure, I'm gonna sprinkle over the top some more cinnamon sugar, just to make sure everything is coated. In the oven, 340 minutes. Okay, my pecans came out of the oven. You are supposed to turn them or kind of stir them once during the cooking process or baking process. I forgot to tell you that. But anyway, when they come out after 40 minutes, you just let them cool completely. And then you can serve that on the side with your next little holiday gathering. Country girl meets city. She said, if you don't have a jar of bacon grease in your kitchen or fridge, you ain't Southern. This is correct. <laughs> Y'all, I saw in the comments that several of you said that you keep your bacon grease jar just on the stovetop. It just sits out at room temperature, which I've always heard to put it in the fridge, but so let me know below. Do you put, if you have a jar of bacon grease, do you keep it out at room temperature or do you put it in the fridge like I do? And then I also had questions asking me how long it lasts forever. I have no idea how long you're supposed to Keep it. I mean, if you, you know, you open it up and you look in there and there's stuff like a science project growing in there, it's probably about time to throw it away. Yeah, but we've never had that happen. Just kind of eyeball it, you know. Yeah. And the thing with the bacon, bacon grease is it, it don't take much to no. flavor whatever it is that exactly. you're doing. It don't take much at all. And I mean, if you're already making, making bacon, 
then you've got the bacon grease. You might as well save it because that's that's a great way to flavor your dish and you've already paid for it. You already bought the bacon. You don't have to buy extra oil or whatever it is that you're wanting to use. Mm -hmm. Just use the bacon grease. It's really great. Thank you for reading those. That was, well, you're welcome. That was fun. <laughs> you're so welcome. Get one of these cookies mm -hmm. and I'll be right out of here. All right, I'll see you later. All right, let me check the stove real quick. See what's no, in there. Go on. Next, we're gonna be making somewhat of a charcuterie board. Not really. It's gonna be kind of like a meat and cheese tray, but it's gonna be pretty festive. To get started, I've got this selection of salami that apparently Gracie smells, as well as, this is really what she's here for, I have chopped up some white cheddar cheese. It's the um, New York Extra Sharp Cheddar. Let me give this girl a piece, hang on. Now back to regularly scheduled programming. I am rolling up a couple of pieces of the salami and then I'm gonna go in with a layer of cheese. Can you see it? It's supposed to be a candy cane. I don't know how well that kind of came off, but we're gonna go with it. Here, I'm gonna put some pimento cheese spread. I recently went to a like a Christmas vendor fair and this particular company was there. So I've made my own pimento cheese spread before and there's nothing wrong with that. Go for it. But for this holiday appetizer video, I'm kind of going with already made stuff and kind of turning it into making it your own. So this particular spread, both of these are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put the link to their website below. I'm not sure if you can order it through their website. It is humblerootscheeses.com. And this one is a smoked Gouda goat pimento cheese spread. And then this one is a spicy jalapeno pimento cheese spread. This is the one I'm gonna put on the charcuterie board for today. But I'm gonna save the other one for our Christmas Eve brunch, y'all. This charcuterie board that I have is from Pampered Chef and I love it because it's a turntable one. And it came with these cute little serving dishes and like the little spreaders as well. It's very nice. And let's top it all off with some crackers on the side. So I got two different types of crackers. I got these Italian herb flatbread. And then I had never seen these before. They're pretzel crackers called Flip Sides by Townhouse. That sounded good too. Ooh, I'm good. I know, there you go. A cute little festive tray to put out at your next holiday gathering. Isn't that adorable? I had not called him in here yet. Come on. Oh. What's it look like? It looks like a charcuterie board. Yeah, but what does it look like? It looks like cheese and crackers. Is it, does the shape come out at you at all? Oh, looks kind of like candy cane. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's why I'm the eater. That's <laughs> why I eat. All right, let's get into some. No, of this. no, 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 I can't. no! Because I need to do the. Because <laughs> I need to do like the overview of all the food together. Okay. Here in a little bit. Oh, but you can taste this. But you got a little just, chocolate covered pecans. No, they're not chocolate covered. They're, not they're chocolate. just they're just toasted. They have cinnamon well, look sugar. Look at them. them. It's like a pecan cookie. Hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I don't love my pecans. Pecan. Pecan. I don't love my pecans super sweet, so I didn't put a whole lot of cinnamon sugar on mine. Just a touch. No. If you like yours coated more, feel free to knock it out of your husband's hand. <laughs> feel free to use more mm -hmm. sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, all the things. You do you. Yeah, yeah. It's good, yeah. Okay, I don't want him to touch my candy cane yet, <laughs> but <laughs> he can have some of the spicy jalapeno spread. Maybe so, on this one? That's a, like a pretzel one. Yeah. Have at it. Mmm. Oh, it's Spicy good. Spicy flavor. It's good. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Oh, there's the spice. It's spicy. Oh. So good. Oh, man, that's really good. It's like taste pimento cheese up way up. I didn't make it. I'm not a pimento type of person. Enough. Pimento cheese is not his favorite, but I knew he would but like this I like this, one. this cheese. It's really I knew good. He would. Y'all go check them out. Let me show you. Humble Roots is the name of the company. They had like a regular pimento cheese, the smoked Gouda, mm. this one, and maybe one more. 
I don't wow. know. Check them out. I'll link them in the description box. Oh, man. It'll light your mouth on fire. That's good and spicy. It's good. That's what you want right there. Mm -hmm. Pimento cheese. I don't know what it is by putting ER on the end of everything, but. That's what us Southerners do. In my family, they drop the puh. It's just Manor Manor cheese. cheese. <laughs> I'm not yeah. kidding. We just drop ladders. We just drop the letters. Bunch of lazy letters. folks around here. I'm telling you. Well, right I mean, we added here. some at the end, so we're not too Add lazy. Some? Yeah, that's right. Do y'all say that too? Probably not. <laughs> There's somebody out there that does. They're going to leave a comment right that's, now. That's right. what we say. <laughs> If you've seen my past holiday appetizers video, you may have seen this recipe, but it is worth mentioning again. The cranberry chili sauce meatballs, they are so good, so easy to make. I used to make my meatballs with grape jelly and chili sauce, but not, not since then. Now I use the cranberry sauce and the chili sauce. It sounds weird, but I promise you it is so good. This is all the ingredients. If you can't find chili sauce or if you don't like chili sauce, you could always just replace it with barbecue sauce. I don't have an entire jar of this chili sauce, so I may actually throw some barbecue sauce in here with it just so I have enough. And now let's just pour in our cranberry sauce and let's mix it all together. Okay, I do feel like it is a little cranberry-ish and doesn't have enough of the liquid. So I am gonna add just a little bit of this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce in with it. And that was it. Like this is one of the easiest go-to. So if you were looking for a great appetizer to take to a get together and you don't have a lot of time, this is your best bet. So I'm gonna just dump all of these meatballs in here. I'm using my smaller crock pot today. And these meatballs are a little bit larger than I'm typically used to, but that's okay. That's all my grocery store had. And now I'm just gonna pour our sauce over top. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook while we are making our other appetizers. I'm just gonna put it on high for now. I may change it over to low, but it won't need four hours. That's just what this setting has on this particular crock pot. It'll probably just be a couple of hours. So this is definitely better than doing the grape jelly. I think the grape jelly just I don't know. It's just way too sweet. Okay. For me. I mean, I didn't know what I was missing until I tried this. So. Right. This last savory dish we're making are just little mini quiches, which are perfect for your holiday party that you're going to. We're going to be using pie crusts, refrigerated pie crust. So we're kind of cheating and acting like it's all homemade when we're using this. But I need to let this come to room temperature and grab all the other ingredients. Okay, so we are cooking about a half a pound of sausage. We had some left over, but we had really mild sausage. That's all my grocery store had. So we're adding some seasoning. Steven is adding some Italian seasoning, and I think we're gonna throw some red pepper flake in there too, just because. We're gonna doctor it up a little bit. We are, just because that's what we enjoy. We like a little bit spicier. So if your grocery store only has the mild sausage and you wanna add some more flavor, definitely just add in some Italian seasoning and then a little bit of spice if you need it. Okay, while he is doing that, I am going to preheat our oven to 425. Here to this somewhat large glass bowl. If you have a glass bowl that has a spout, even better, because you're gonna be pouring these into your little muffin cups in just a little bit. You're gonna take two eggs and lightly beat those. Beat the eggs. Beat them eggs beat the yolk out of them. Okay, we've got two-thirds. No, that's three-fourths. You said two-thirds. Yeah, but it's three-fourths. That ain't three-fourths. Tell me. That's three-fourths. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I let's... Can't, I can't measure. Okay, I just do this. Please drink okay. it. Please drink it. Please drink it. Yes! I took a little sip. It was good. Yeah. That was two-thirds. <laughs> yeah, I think that's self-rising milk. You let it sit there for a little bit and then it it rises was, yeah, up to okay. three quarters. Okay, I took a little sip out of it. It'll be okay, it's just us eating this. Do not freak out, please. Okay, two thirds a cup of milk. Somebody's gonna freak out. <laughs> Somebody's oh gonna have a cow. Mandy! <laughs> How dare you? Let me stir this up. Yep. Now I've got some green onions that I've already diced up. You can leave the green onions out if you don't like onion. All right, now talk me through this here. What are we doing exactly? I don't really know. I mean, I do, but 
this is my first time, so okay, <laughs> here we go. What you got. I've got this little uh, biscuit cutter, cookie cutter, whatever you want to call this. It's about two and a half inches across. I just measured it. Stephen made fun of me. Um, she got the tape measure out. <laughs> <laughs> you can use a tape measure. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So now we're just going to cut little circles out. And I've got a mini muffin pan over here. That's kind of fun looking. Let me try that. And I'm just going to press these down in here. Look at there. I left a little notch in it. It'll be all right. Golly. Okay. So okay. now we're just going to go through and get as many of these as we can. You got to be really careful with it because it does want to tear when it goes down in there. So don't press too hard. You see I tore that first one. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I did. Steven's going to do the cutting and I'm all. This is where you get the kids and grandkids involved. There right you here. go. And I'm gonna put them in here in the little mini cups. Grandma be proud. She would be proud. She's like, look at there. Except for the fact that I'm using pre-made pie crust. She'd be like, what's that about? Yeah, she would be proud of you. She'd be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandma would be proud of you, but not me. All That's right. right. I get it. I get it. She'd say, she needs a whooping. <laughs> I have to say, Stephen did a really good job because you're supposed to get 12 from each one, and we did. I aim to please. I'm telling you what, you did a good job. That's right. Teamwork makes the dream work over here. It's kind of fun. I'm having a great time. Kind of like Play-Doh. It is kind of like Play-Doh. You know, playing with Play-Doh? Yeah. That's what it feels like. I'm easy to entertain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. Look gotten, at you over there. You're doing a good job. I've gotten pretty quick over here. Yeah. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> I just love that commercial. That commercial tickled me. You gotta be quicker than that. And just one more. One more. Look, Look at, at that. You. I am impressed. Yeah. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> we <laughs> did that, good. All that play -Doh. What are we gonna do with this? There was a gnat. Go away. Look at that. We can make something out of that. What are you gonna you gonna play with play doh? Well, I, cook. I just wanna, I wanna look like I'm doing something smart with it, like knead it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna press pause and you keep playing, okay? Okay. Okay. While Steven stays there and plays with the remaining <laughs> dough, I'm gonna put just a pinch of our sausage down into each one. Y'all, I gave him one job. Bless his little I put heart. too much of the meat in there. <laughs> so I walked over because my camera, my memory card was too full. And I said, just put a pinch of meat in there. And I came over and these things were overflowing with meat. So You, you thought I'd kill somebody. <laughs> I said, babe. So we're having to remove some because you need room for the egg and the cheese. So don't fill them too much. You just want a little pinch of the sausage or whatever meat. You don't have to use meat if you don't want to. If you want to leave the meat out, you can. And maybe just do like... You've got to do the egg, though. Yeah, I know. But you could do like um, maybe red bell pepper if you would prefer... She's eating it. I'm just an eater, okay? I mean, <laughs> okay. You're doing good. It's, it's, it's my good. role here. It's good. All right, now grab that cheese over there beside you and put a little tiny dollop of cheese, or a little bit of cheese onto each How one. How come we ain't doing this number? Baby, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of spread them out just a tad bit over here. Okay. Like that. My nose is itching. Oh my gosh, That's and I don't baby. have a free hand. <laughs> scratch my nose. <laughs> baby, scratch my nose. <laughs> <laughs> On this side. Yeah, yeah. I just got grease all over you. Oh, God. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. That's a little extra oil for your uh, for my face for your, for your night routine. <laughs> How much cheese? Tiny little bit, like that. Tiny little bit. These are mini quiches. We don't go big or go home on this one, huh? Okay, so we're gonna put the rest of this cheese in here, just a little tiny bit in each one, and then we're gonna pour our egg mixture over top. You have zero faith in me, do you? I do okay. have faith. I have faith that you're going to make a mess. <laughs> Look at our pie crust. Yeah. He has been playing with this nonstop. We got to come up with something we're going to do with that. Okay. Set that down. It looks like a potato. <laughs> it kind of does look like a tater, doesn't it? Okay. So we're just going to pour it in there. Okay. Look. You can see it kind of filling up in there. I got gotcha. you. Okay. It's just going to take a little bit of... I believe. A little bit of time. Yeah. Okay. You're doing good. Oh, there's yeah, the mess. There it is. There's, there's the mess. There's the mess. All right, so we done done round. We done did. We, we done did it. We done did round one. Now we're going back through and just filling up the rest of them. Because I was kind of conservative to begin with, you know? Right. 
So now I wanna go in and make sure they have enough egg in them. All right, y'all, these are going in the oven at 425 for 13 to 15 minutes. These just came out of the oven and y'all, it smells so good and they look perfect. Look at that. Oh my goodness. We're gonna let them cool here in the pan for just a couple of minutes. Then we'll take them out and put them on a platter and do our taste test. I'm gonna pop them bad boys like aspirin tablets. <laughs> Mini quiches. They look so cute. Ain't they cute? Yeah. They are. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Hot. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. But good. Mmm. 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 Perfect little That's quiche. The quiche. Yeah. Perfect little quiche. These are so good. It's like the the crispy, kind of a crispy crust on there. Crispy and um. Crumbly. Flaky. Oh, flaky. Flaky. Crumbly, flaky, crispy. Mm -hmm. What I learned from doing the quiches. Don't ever fill them. If you fill them all the way to the top, they're gonna spill over a little bit into the muffin cup and make it somewhat hard to remove them from the muffin cup. And also the ones that Steven kind of spread the dough out around the edges, those came out easier, probably because the egg couldn't get below it and get stuck in the muffin cup. So some of them came out very easily and then other ones came out, it was a little bit, a little bit harder to get those out. So. Go ahead and spread that dough all the way around the edge and I think that really does make a difference and then don't overfill them. I had a little bit of egg yeah. mixture left but yeah, create a little not much. lip so that the egg can't get down in there yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah. But even the ones that didn't come out easy they still came out all right. Yeah I mean they still like this one kind of fell apart a little bit. Yeah. That was fun. I love making finger foods. I wish I wish I did it more often. I wish for dinner I would just make a few finger foods and just put it out. I just, I just love. Just stand around the kitchen, mm -hmm. veg out, we, laugh at one another. We do that daily. But thank y'all for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>